This could save your life. 11 Survival Tips from a Former Secret Agent It's always fascinating to see how easily CIA agents in movies can survive any extreme situation. Well, they're even cooler and more resilient in real life. Do you want to find out some of their tricks of the trade? Then get ready, because a former secret agent is sharing his advice on how to get through any critical situation. But before we start, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications so you'll be the first to know about our new videos. Counting down from number 11, a car crash. Car crash statistics are devastating. In 2016 alone, they claimed over 40,000 lives. So even if you're the safest driver ever, it wouldn't hurt to know what to do in case of an accident. When you're driving, you should keep your hands at 9 and 3, not 10 and 2, as they used to say. Your thumb should always be on the outer edge of the wheel. If any of your fingers are on the inside of the steering wheel, you have a higher chance of breaking them. Crossing your arms isn't advisable either. If you crash, you can break not only your wrists, but your forearms as well. If you're a passenger in the back seat, you also have certain rules to follow. During a collision, put your hands on the back of your head, press your forehead against the seat in front of you, and keep your knees bent at a 90-degree angle. This position will minimize your chances of being injured. Number 10. A dog attack Unfortunately, dog attacks are also quite common these days. And for this particular reason, you should be prepared beforehand. A mixture of water and ammonia is one of the best ways to scare away aggressive dogs. Most importantly, ammonia won't harm the animals whatsoever, it'll just scare them off. The second possible option is using a can of pressurized air, like those sprayable air dusters for cleaning keyboards. A strong blow of cold air into the nose will disorient even the most hostile dogs. And finally, the most effective choice is pepper spray or another animal's urine. And if it gets really scary, <laughs> I'll probably use my own. Now, the pepper spray will scare the dog away, while the urine will keep the dog from following you, since dogs take it as a sign of someone else's territory. That's right, that's my hood, man. You keep out. Number 9. Knocking the door down in case of fire If you ever find yourself in a burning building, there's a chance that you'll need to knock the door down to escape or help others. And the way you see it done in the movies couldn't be more wrong. Running towards it and throwing your whole body against it can leave you with a dislocated shoulder or even broken bones. In reality, it's so much easier. Just kick the door's lock with your heel and try to use all your weight to do it. Your other heel should be planted firmly on the floor. A precise and powerful enough kick will knock out any lock and thus will open any door, even if it usually opens from the other side. Number 8. Barricading a door You never think about learning how to barricade a door properly until you actually need it. Well, there are some techniques on how to do it more effectively. First of all, you can put rubber door stops all around the door's crevices. That will make it way harder to break in. A mop or a chair put under the door handle can also keep the bad guys out. But don't forget that you also need some kind of support on the floor so the mop won't slip. Or you could always do it like in the movies. Just put a bunch of heavy objects in front of the door. This way, the attacker has to not only get the door open, but also get past all the barricading objects. Number 7. A shooting We see them all the time on the big screen. Unfortunately, we also see a lot of them in real life. In the moment, panic often takes over, but try to suppress it and follow some important rules. To protect yourself during a shooting, you need to find a good cover. A solid table with a granite surface would be a great choice, way better than an armchair or a couch. If you're outside, a really good cover is big, heavy flower pots. Trash cans on the other side aren't a good option. If you're hiding behind a car, 
hide behind the front part of it rather than the back. And most importantly, remember that things like clipboards and hardcover books can not stop bullets, so you can use them as a bulletproof vest. My choice here to hide behind would be a tank. Number 6. Being at gunpoint If you've got a gun pointed at you, it's best to behave extremely carefully to minimize any risks of getting seriously hurt. But if you do decide to act boldly, the only tactic is to disarm the attacker. If somebody is pointing a gun at your back and has ordered you to walk ahead, raise your arms and slow down so that the gun is pressed right up against your back. Then, turn around quickly, bring one arm down so that it traps the gun under your armpit, and use the other arm to attack the gunman. This all, of course, should happen really fast, decidedly, and accurately. Otherwise, it could end very bad. So, think twice before actually using this tactic. Number 5. An explosion Now, if a serious explosion is about to go off, your action should be quick and precise. Finding refuge is the most important thing. It's even better if this cover is made of natural materials, like a brick or wooden fence. If there's literally nowhere to hide, lie on the ground with your face down, cross your legs, open your mouth, and cover your ears with your hands. All this won't allow the blast and sound waves to seriously damage your health and sensory organs. Number 4. Being locked in the trunk of your car. Boy, it's not your day, is it? Kidnappers in movies always put their victims in the trunk of a car to transport them somewhere. Again, this often happens the same way in real life, too. So how can you get out? Most newer model cars have an emergency pull located on the inside of the trunk. All you have to do is find it, and the trunk will pop open. If the car is older, you can try to open the trunk's lock latch. Another option is to try to escape through the folding back seat. And finally, try to knock out one of the tail lights from the inside and signal for help. Chances are that other drivers will notice. Number 3. If your hands and feet are tied together. Well, this situation seems impossible to escape. But don't worry, there is a way, and it's not that hard at all. First and foremost, you have to get your legs free. To do that, Stand up straight and point your toes out to make a V with your feet. Then jump up, and as you land, spread your knees really fast. This will instantly tear through duct tape. Now for your arms. If your hands are tied behind your back, you need to get them in front of you. However you can do that, once that's done, press them tightly together and then quickly pull them apart. There, you're as free as a bird. Number 2. Being in water with your hands and feet tied. Well, let's take that previous one to the next level. What if you're thrown in the water with your legs and feet bound? No ideas? Eh, that's okay. Here's what you should do. The most important thing is correct breathing. Don't panic. Take deep breaths in and quick breaths out. If the water isn't that deep, try to make it to the shore by doing little jumps. If you're swimming on your belly, Move by bending your knees, straightening them back again, and keeping your back arched so that your head stays above water. In raging waters, rolling around on your back will give you a quick breath and allow you to take deep breaths as you continue moving towards the shore. And number 1. Making a shelter in deep snow Everybody remembers the movie The Revenant. Leonardo DiCaprio's character had to survive a lot of crazy scenarios, and the bitter cold was one of them. So what do you do if you're out hiking when a serious snowstorm hits and there's no shelter in sight? Well, if the snow on the ground is really thick, and you see a couple of evergreen trees nearby, then you found the perfect place to build yourself a refuge to wait out the storm and warm up a bit. Find the thickest evergreen tree with low-hanging branches and dig a hole in the snow along the tree trunk. The deeper the hole, the better. Then pack the snow on the walls of your hideaway as densely as you can. 
Put some of the tree's branches on the ground to make yourself a place to sleep. Just don't expect any Oscars for your awesome survival skills. Bonus! Secret Agent Must-Haves Well, how about a little bonus info? Who wouldn't want to know what special agents carry in their bags? All of them obviously carry things that will help them survive in any situation, so it's definitely some advice worth taking. So let's have a little peek inside. Mm. Some of the most popular contents in special agents' bags include a key to handcuffs. Well, that's handy. A flashlight, a pen, a compass, a jetpack, no, not really, a razor blade, a pocket knife, a mouth guard, and some lock picks. And each one is an absolute must have. For example, a mouth guard can protect your teeth during a collision. And a pocket knife is universally handy in all kinds of situations, whether it's for protection or survival. Hmm, nice set. Can anyone say Christmas presents? So, which one of these tips did you find the most useful? Tell us in the comment section below. And don't forget to share this video with your friends and family so they can survive these situations too. Remember, life is better on the bright side. So subscribe and stick around. Stay safe, and we'll see you soon!